go ahead and get started. Uh, I'll just talk to you while I'm finishing posting my uh, thing. Um, but yeah, I am excited about this. Uh, oh, here, let me pull my microphone into a place where it can actually hear me. <laughs> um, I'm super excited about how this competition is going so far. Um, join me for a little bit. I doubt anybody will actually come. I mean, it's it's late. I might get some people over more like <laughs> Europe and Asia sort of uh, side of the planet, but yeah. Join me for a little bit. All right, let's do that. Yes. Actually, let's make sure that uploads. But yeah, dude. Okay. So let me switch over and let's say hello. Oh my goodness. It, let me see. Oh, there we are. Hello. <laughs> All right, well, without further ado, I'm going to get started. Okay, so, so far, I have made a ton of progress on this guy. Sorry, it's like I'm strongly backlit and not so frontlit. Let me see. Yeah. Now it's like super strongly side lit. I'll just leave the light on. It is well enough. That works. That works for me. All right. Yeah, my fancy studio lighting with the uh, desk lamp and uh, overhead light. Yeah, I'm, I'm super, super fancy. <laughs> so, let me see. I'm thinking of either using that or using my full, uh, yeah, I'll just do the, uh, do the simple stream. Cool. But yeah, so here is my character so far. Um, and I've gotten... I've gotten everything... Let's go ahead and get this filling. Um, I've gotten everything textured except for the boots. And I might do something with the, uh, with the hands. Uh, but the other thing I wanted to do was uh, built him some gloves and I may go through and do that in pose so I'm trying to decide now if I want to work on my character right now I hmm, wonder why this guy's so dark right now That is so odd. Why is he so dark? Huh. This is driving me nuts. I have no idea. And it's like it gets even darker if I turn record on. What happened? What's going on? This is super, super weird to me. Huh. You know what? Forget this. I'm going to go ahead and jump over onto the speeder bike. <laughs> Might as well work on something that's not even textured yet. And, uh... Try to get it there. Let's go ahead and turn off all the materials and poly paint and stuff for right now.
go. Do you texture your models in ZBrush? Most of the time, yes. Um, I don't often have the need to take things over into other software packages. Um, yeah, most of the time I just I just keep things inside of ZBrush. Uh, sometimes I'll take stuff over into Substance Painter if I find I, I'm having trouble getting my uh, my roughness patterns to work the way that I want or having a hard time getting uh, the right normal map details or things like that but uh, but yeah most of the time it's it's all just ZBrush and then I can pull out what I need out of this which is super nice if I do say so myself okay Oops, local symmetry, center that. Just kind of expand it out. Okay, let me see. Oops, there we go. Geometry, modify topology, delete that hidden. Yeah. <coughs> part of the, how do you get to be part of the ZBrush model for them on the live streams? Uh, that was something that um, I got to do. So I was part of the ZBrush Sculpt Off back in um, back in 2016, uh, which was awesome. And after that, because I was in contact with the uh, with the group there, I. Uh, yeah, so uh, Paul Gabriel, I, I saw him around around campus, and he's like, uh, he's like, hey, well, I mean, I, I asked him about it. And I said, so uh, about the the live stream and everything. He's like, do you want to do it? You know, and I was like, cool, okay, yeah. <laughs> and uh, uh, he said, you know, he'd he'd love to have stuff going, you know, like twenty four seven. Um, I don't know, I don't know how. Um, I mean, I, guess, I suppose it's different for for each person how they how they start out, but uh, but yeah, I mean, it's it's kind of fun. It's it's a it's a great experience, and it's you know it's a fun group to be involved with. I love I love Pixel Logic. In case it wasn't, you know, overwhelmingly obvious by how often they <laughs> do stuff with and for them and use their software and all that stuff. Now let's put this up here. Get rid of that one. That'll be better. I know, yeah. Anytime you have a question, it's totally okay to ask. And whenever it's and whenever you have a question, it's better to you know just ask your question. Um, but yeah. Okay, let me see. So that's working out all right. Caramba, sí. Trying to go through and kind of ease this curve so that it's not all 
faceted and broken and whatnot going around. <laughs> no, I'm the only one that can ask. Ha 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 ha. But yeah, anytime there's a question, uh, yeah, feel free to feel f feel more than free to ask. I mean, that's that's one of the uh, one of the nice things about being able to just stream and. Uh... Oh, I didn't realize that was all part of the plan. Um. It's a little bit messed up right there, but we'll fix it. Uh, Bill, are you still there? I feel like you were super poised to ask this co cool question and everything, and then you just kind of dropped off. <laughs> That's better. Did you watch the Justice League trailer? No, I haven't. <laughs> Honestly, I'm so behind on like trailers and movies in general. <clears throat> um, and you'll find that that's sometimes the case with people who have worked in the industry is like they don't always get time to watch stuff. Especially if they're like passionate about personal projects, um, such as myself. Oops, that's not what I wanted. I wanted a bridge. I see zebra sculptors working slowly. It's the zebrush where people just afraid to lose control on zebrush because they work slowly. Um. Well, I feel like if you work quickly, you're more prone to lose control. <laughs> um. Sure. Uh, I'm not sure that I super understand the question. Um, no grites. <laughs> Pobrecito. Um, yeah, it's, it's really just working deliberately and making choices and thinking as you work because, you know, you gotta, you gotta be able to think and make choices as you, <coughs> as you work or else you're not going to be able to get the uh, results that you hope to get. I hope that that makes sense. Hola amigo! <laughs> yeah, now that I'm streaming late. Yeah, yeah, it'll just probably be tonight. Um, I have... Yeah, just wanted to get some... Uh, some Z brushing in on my art station challenge piece, uh, working on the, uh, working on his, uh, his, his speeder bike. Uh, so yeah, I just figured I'd go through and kind of block this area in, um, get it figured out. You know, I should come on, come in over here. Slice curve. Boom, just like that. Geometry, mirror, and weld, so that we've got the same thing on both sides. Yeah. Yeah, it's so yeah, just it's it's just different different processes are going to take more time than others. Um that's really kind of all it is. I 
I want this to have sort of like a like a shelf going around. So what I'm going to do is oh I guess we we already said mirror and weld right yeah we already said mirror and weld so that's good. Turn solo off. Let's go ahead and let's insert an edge loop here. In fact, we can hide some of these other pieces here. Turn off some of these. Let's get off the sleeping bags. Let's turn off the seat. And yeah, that should be good now. Okay. Nice. Give it about the same spacing here on the other side. Okay, and here's what we're going to do. We are going to take, let's do this. I'm going to say extrude edge. Pull that out like that. I'm just going to kind of line this up here a little bit. And I'm going to bridge. How many years do you have in the industry? I have been in the industry since 2011, 2012, so about almost you know nine or ten years. It's been a while now. <laughs> I've been all over the place, so it's not like I've been you know doing this for ten years. I've also done motion graphics and animation. I've done storyboarding. I've done uh, all sorts of things. Kind of crazy. smooth this once oh actually not don't don't smooth it once I want to you know what yeah let's let's do this I'm going to say crease PG always yes Okay, good. It's already got a good uh, edge to it, which is awesome. Okay. Favorite company to have worked for? Walt Disney Imagineering. Easy. Um, I do have this company that I'm doing stuff with right now called Spin Master. And I'm doing uh, maquettes for <clears throat> for Netflix shows, and that's really cool. Um, I mean, nothing I can talk about yet, but I mean, it's still it's still cool. It's a really really cool uh, project to, or type of project to be able to work on. Easily, easily, uh, Imagineering has been my favorite. Fantastic. I, I mean, they they were so good to me, and I worked hard, and, and I super enjoyed the projects I was working on, and it was great. So so good. Loved it. Miss it.
Let me see. Hey, Steven, you've been in the industry for so long. Which which one is your fave? How did you get Netflix work together with you? Um, so I, I that one's actually kind of interesting. So I got that because of a friend. Um, that was like one of the very few instances in my career where I can legitimately say that it was because of who I know <laughs> um, that I got a job. Um, Disney was also the same way where it's like I got the job at Disney because of uh, you know, because of who I know. And so that was that was just good. It was really, really good. Um, so yeah, always be kind to people. <laughs> work well with uh, anybody that you get the opportunity to work well with or work with and and, uh, and you're good. you're golden. <laughs> um. It's very hard to get into uh, into Imagineering. In fact, I mean, I I was um, I was already part of the team there um, and got let go at the beginning of the pandemic. Um, and you know, haven't been able to be brought back on yet. Um, just because of you know how how scarce projects are right now, so it's it's extremely difficult to get in in the first place. Um, and why is that not stitching? Um, something's not symmetrical. It says. But yeah, I mean it's 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 just tricky from that standpoint, you know, and getting to work on crazy cool things. It's kind of how it works. <laughs> I was on the architecture, three D modeling field, but I want to enter the game modeling production because it's more advanced. Do you think it's the right decision? Uh, this is uh, I can't really counsel you on that. Um, it's definitely much more competitive, and I think that having that background of architecture might be helpful to you. But I I honestly don't know. I honestly don't know. Uh, that's not one that I'd be able to, like I said, you know, counsel you on, um, because the fields those those two in particular those two particular fields are not very related um, there may be some some somewhat adjacent uh, principles and disciplines but really I mean that's that's a super that's a super uh, different career choice and so so for me to say you know yeah yeah you can totally do that or you know you know it's like I, I I don't really I don't really know I know that I've seen people make transitions from all sorts of places like for instance like when I make made the transition to go into art um, I wanted to be a marine biologist <laughs> that was my career choice of the time and I wanted to go to uh, some university where I could study to be a marine biologist um, and study reef genetics, but um, you know, like people's journeys are all different, and people come from different places. People are interested in different things, and um, it's really kind of crazy. But it's good, you know. Keep that when it does that. Ah, okay. Boom. Just like that. I'm 
might actually t try taking these and raising them up. That's that's definitely like too low for what I'm wanting. Where I'm wanting it to meet up with the side here. That's better. Yeah, uh, the Ask ZBrush channel is something that's super fantastic. I mean, it's a super useful resource. Um, Joseph Drust does some amazing tips and tricks, and I mean, I go I go through and watch those. They they're they're insanely helpful. Yeah, absolutely. It's great. That's a great tool. It's a great resource. You are an arc. Uh, let me see. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Joe. Uh, how many jobs? How many jobs do I have, or have I had? I've I've had I've worked at a lot of different places. Um, so that's kind of a kind of a loaded question. Oops. Si c'est bon. C'est bon, c'est bon. Not extrude on bridge. Aquí estamos. Yeah, so I used to work for Disney. I was actually let go at the beginning of the pandemic because I was a contractor. Um, I was there for about two years before uh, before the pandemic, though. And yeah, and then I do. Yes, I do currently teach at Noman. Um, so yeah, it's good stuff. Sure, this is nice and flat. Let's do this. I'm going to mess that off, and I am going to make this so that it is like a nice gradual slope off to this uh, to this piece over here that way that way it's just a just a simpler transition to uh, to the other pieces that we have around um, I am going to want to have this kind of come out and over I think <laughs> uh, no I did not graduate from Noman uh, one of the interesting things that I've learned one of the interesting things that I've learned uh, about universities is that they tend not to. Oh, okay, here we go. Uh, they tend not to hire people typically um, that went through their programs. Now there are a lot. There are some uh, Noman grads that do teach at Noman. Um, I'm not sure what their particular policy is. But yeah, that's just something that I've learned recently is that generally speaking in the university uh, level, uh, they, they like to get more of a range of experience, um, different ideals, different whatever, to kind of help enrich their university um, culture. And so... So yeah, I suspect, I suspect that it's something similar for Noman. Uh, but like I said, I, I do know some, uh, some friends and some, uh, some of the faculty that did go through Noman. So kind of interesting. Let me see. 
need to make a couple of folders. Let's say cargo. Oh, I've got some spasms in my neck. Bring that up, bring that up, bring that up. That's the seat, so I'm going to make that part of the body. Here, let's put the. Okay, so there's the seat, and that's in as part of that. Part of that folder. Yeah, I can just turn the folders on and off. I don't have to worry about. as much um, I'm, I'm losing kind of my thoughts there um, I don't have to keep track of as many individual sub tools to turn on and off I can just come over here turn this on Off. Okay. Okay, so here's what we're running into. Here's what we've got so far. Yeah. Yeah. Good questions. <laughs> Collapse that down. We'll insert an edge loop right there. All right, let's see. In fact, here's what we'll do. Instead of inserting an edge loop, let's just get rid of an edge loop, and then we can go ahead and insert a couple of edge loops. Or, in order to <laughs> In order to form a more, more perfect union, let's go ahead and pull that over. And now we can go upward. Um, de trois, quatre, cinq. Six, sept, huit, neuf, dix, onze. Okay. Let me see. Okay, so this will be the last to be bridged here. my caps lock on accident you know what the speakers feel like they're really kind of close in here so here's what I'm going to do I am going to say let's take them I'm just going to get rid of that Actually, maybe I don't need to. Let's just let's just go ahead and grab the uh, speakers. See it play. And I'm just gonna bring it over, you know, way over here. here this is kind of like where I want to go ahead and start to <coughs> build out this 
shelf coming out on top of it, I think. Oops. Every once in a while, if you hit tab, that turns you into like expert mode. It kind of expands your window, which is kind of nice, but it also gets rid of all your tools. So, you know, if you want to be able to bring your tools back, if you want to see your tools alive, just go ahead and hit tab and bring them back. Uh, Noman faculty. Noman's really hard to reach, quite expensive for someone like me, but really it might be worth to graduate there. Maybe. I mean, the, uh, the network there the prestige of the university it's it's a big deal it's it's important uh, so it's 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 definitely something that you want to consider when you are wanting to go to school is what the uh, you know, like what what's what is the goal that you're going for why are why are you going to school um, And I think the more that you come to understand why you personally are going to school uh, and, you know, that you understand that, you know, yeah, you're going to be investing a bunch of money into it and you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? Um, I think the easier it is for you to be able to make plans and do schooling with a purpose and things like that. I mean, otherwise... Um, there are a bunch of tutorials and things online that you can uh, that you can get to without without any issue. I mean, it, it's like there's a lot of a lot of ways to be able to get yourself educated without having to go to school. Um, and I think that before you go to school, you definitely need to have that plan. Like I like I was talking about a second ago, um, and I think that's my big suggestion in uh, going to school. <laughs> like for instance, I mean there there are people on Patreon, right? I've got a I've got a Patreon. I try to try to you know give resources um, things like that to people who are part of my Patreon crowd or um, or um, yeah lots of lots of different things of that type and that sort um, people who stream, people who sell tutorials, um, such as myself. I mean, I've got a lot of different tutorials on online that people can can go through and and buy, and it's a lot cheaper than going to a university for an education. It's not accredited, um, so it's not going to look the same on your um shoot uh, it's not gonna look the same on your on your resume as like I did the tutorials <laughs> by so and so uh, but the skills are going to read the same in your portfolio and the you know different things like that and and those are the things that are going to speak louder those are the things that are going to be more important. So yeah, I, I, I strongly recommend, you know, thinking about those sorts of things as you're trying to consider school and and uh, learning resources and things like that. By the way, you were taking a science major. What drives you? What dri so I wasn't taking a science major. That was something that, so when I was growing up, I, I raised saltwater fish. Uh, I had an aquarium. I had uh, my own reef rock and uh, anemones and, and corals and 
and uh, raise saltwater fish. That was that was like that was my passion. That was something that I did. That's something I loved doing. I loved measuring the 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 alkalinity and the pH in the water. I loved uh, you know, trying to trying to make sure that I can get this these these fish to you know, to be healthy and happy and not die, <laughs> you know. And um, and it was great. It was such a fantastic hobby for me. Um, but it was it was one of those things that you know I, I found uh, one of my friends in high school um, actually invited me to um, a 3d animation class that they offered at my high school which blew my mind um, and yeah I, I, I just I got stuck with it it just it was so fascinating to me and so much fun and I mean at, at the time I was I was also like super passionate about soccer and running and riding my bike and things like that to the point where I don't play soccer anymore <laughs> ain't got no time um, it's 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 insane it's fascinating it's wonderful and, and I super super love it and so it's it's one of those things where um, you know what I'm going to put insert the uh, right there the hope of being able to take it. more like that okay anyway I'll, I'll, and then I'll take this and ray it across or whatever um, but yeah so <clears throat> so yeah it was just it was just purely because the opportunity presented itself and I super loved it and so <laughs> I, uh, I started going and uh, hanging out with the people at, at BYU at Brigham Young University uh, in Provo Utah um, after school and things like that um, hanging out with their animation students and working on their projects and oh my goodness it was awesome it was so so awesome So that's that's how I got started, um, and actually my my buddy, who got me into um, who got me into animation, is currently working at DreamWorks, and we got to we got to work and have breakfast in the morning and lunch sometimes, um, while I was there working at DreamWorks. That was it was fun. It was great. <coughs> so. Yeah, I mean, it was it was fun. Bridge those together. Yes. Multiple edge loops. Oh, and what I want to do is say keep polygroup flat. Whatever. Okay, so I need one, two, three, four, five, six. How about you guys? Where what are some of the some of the best jobs that you've had? What are what uh oh shoot. What are, uh what drives you? What got you into what it is that you're passionate about? I like to hear people's stories. And 
funny story actually i learned this from uh from another friend um the guy who uh wrote and directed spongebob squarepants was also into marine biology <laughs> if you could believe that yes learning anatomy is imperative to being a character artist if you don't know anatomy you don't have to be like the perfectly most scientifically named you know you can't you don't you don't have to go through and know what every muscle of the body is called or or where all the different tendon you know what all the different tendons uh, are called things like that names are not as important as knowing um, as knowing placement and functionality and then how to be able to manipulate those to get <clears throat> to be able to get something appealing um, it's super super important so yes yeah learning anatomy is is it's not just helpful it's it's crucial it is in, it's it's insanely important uh, worked at legend 3d fun job compositing uh, worked on Transformers, but got burned out for working crazy hours. I can believe that. <laughs> for me, I have zero background for art. Never thought art can be fascinating, but a few months ago, knowing ZBrush, which makes me uh, addicted to learn it, and now it became a hobby. That's good. That's good. Got to start somewhere. Yeah, I got introduced to ZBrush by a friend who was using it for his um, for his student show uh, when we were when we were in school and uh, in college, and he used it and did three D printing and everything. And I was like, I have got to learn how to do that. That is way too cool, <laughs> you know, and. Uh, so I did and I saw that ZBrush was popping up on uh, industry jobs and and things like that and so I was like you know what I've got to make the dive and went ahead and bought ZBrush and um, haven't looked back since very much my my best um, my best software purchase ever. I regret nothing. What is that looking like? Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Just a little shabby. <coughs> I have used Sculptress. I use it quite a bit actually. But only when I'm like freeform sculpting. I wouldn't use it on something like this. <laughs> what kind of 3D printer do you own? I own a Form 2 from Form Labs. Uh, it's a great printer. I really, really like it. Um, you know what? Let's see. I'm going to say Polygroup. Flat Island. Let's make something that's. Uh, I didn't want that. Uh, make something that's uh, more transparent or more apparent. So what we can do, I want to use this move infinite in depth, and we're just going to kind of nudge this down. I want this to look like it's going down into this corner. Um, and then, yeah, let's just kind of adjust this a little bit. Oops, 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 oops. Yeah, whatever, something, something kind of. The 
these need to be stitched. Perfect. All right. Okay, so this is going to go up and out, but then everything else is going to go kind of over in that direction. Do you mind share a bit to how do you become Pixelogic streamer? I actually talked about that earlier. <laughs> so, so yeah, you'll have to go back and kind of rewatch it. Hurry up, amigo! There are only fifteen days left. Is that really it? Fifteen days? Shoo! That. Fifteen days. Yeah, that's crazy. No, that's 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 crazy. That's legit. Cra oh, and eleven hours. Thank you. If it were not for those eleven hours. <laughs> <clears throat> no, honestly, I've got I've got like several things that I'll be working on, um, and doing for the next you know few days that. Yeah, I, I won't really get an opportunity to super work on this and so I was like you know might as well go ahead and take a couple hours here well, in fact I need to go ahead and say uh, maybe do another hour or so on this before I turn it in turn in for the night uh, hey Siri set an hour timer your timer is set for one hour that way I know I won't miss my uh Bedtime. I, I really need, need to make sure that I get good sleep. Tomorrow I'll be up all night, so. You'll have to check back on that periodically. <clears throat> all right, let's do this thing. Extrude edge, pull this up. I think I might go ahead and make like an extra bit of a console up on top or something. I don't know. I'll have to, I'll have to see kind of what I do with that. But <laughs> yeah, it's okay, Joe. I mean, it's 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 one of those things that happens. But yeah, I I'm, I I will actually uh, skip on explaining it again. Um, <clears throat> try to conserve my voice a little bit. for other questions. <laughs> A ver. And you know what? I'm not even gonna worry about that quite yet. Let's just go ahead and pull these out. Say move. We can kind of fan these out nicely. <laughs> I already have my PJs on. I've been wearing sweats all day. <laughs> these are my PJs. Just finished listening to a couple of shows earlier while I was working on some client work. While I was working on, uh, yeah, while I was working on some client work, and uh, so I, I finished listening to uh, Star Wars Rebels, which was you know that was my first time going through it. Um, 
It was all right. And then I finished listening to Carmen San Diego. I like Carmen San Diego. I think that was a, a really nicely done. Yeah, it's just it was just nicely done. Bridge these together. Un, deux, trois. C'est beau. Ahí estamos. Yeah, I grew up watching. Are you talking about the one with uh, with Chief and she's going through? I can't even remember how the show even really even went, but you know she's like, "Good job, Gumshoe" or whatever. And <laughs> is it snowing where you live? No, it's not snowing where I live. It might be snowing where other people are living are living though. Does is anybody getting snow right now? Uh, I live in Southern California. We don't. It's it's it's, it's extremely extremely rare that Southern California gets snow. Um, I won't say that it hasn't happened. It hasn't happened in the time that I've ever known Southern California. Um, but, I mean, I do live next, next to the mountains and I do get to see some snow from where I live. So that's nice. Um, I really like having some snow during the winter time uh, I grew up in the snow I grew up in the mountains and so you know it's it's something that's familiar to me it's something that's uh, it helps me to kind of keep track of the time of year you know <laughs> whereas I feel like I feel like when you don't have a, an obvious change of season it's so much harder to feel like you've gone anywhere in the year uh, but you definitely like the year still moves forward at the same pace and it's just like but we were just in spring and nothing looks different but we're in fall <laughs> all i know is that it was blazing hot it's still blazing hot but it's november i don't know yeah it's 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 odd it's odd and <clears throat> I'm not the biggest fan of Southern California for several reasons and that's one of those things that I wish that I had a little bit more of was actual seasons but you know whatever whatever going to say okay, let's turn the body off right there insert single edge loop bah, bah. oh mirror and weld now we can go ahead and insert that Stitched end point. There we go. What are your two cents about Gina, Gina Carano? Recent events. 
I don't know that I could give any sense on that. I, I, I don't, I can't think off the top of my head who Gina Carano is. Let's look that up real quick. from Mandalorian I actually don't know I haven't uh, I don't know anything about what's happening with her but I like her I think she's fun you know there's my two cents <laughs> I like her I think she's fun couldn't tell you anything else that she's been in though like if I were to just think off the top of my head I haven't <laughs> like I was saying earlier like I, I I don't get to see a whole lot of movies I try to listen to things as I <clears throat> as I work um, which is the case for a lot of people who she got fired for posting on social media <laughs> hmm yeah, social media is a tricky beast. Um, but, yeah, and I don't know anything about the politics around what it is that she said or didn't say or whatever. Um, I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully whatever it is that happened... I don't know. I don't know. I I'll just I'll just stop there. <laughs> Cuz th there it's it's probably more involved than just posting. I mean, it's definitely more involved than just posting on social media. Uh but it's it's one of those things where there's it's just so much it's just so involved. I mean, one time at work I took when I when I first got my uh, my name badge my my Disney name badge, I was so excited about it. You know, I put it on, I took a selfie, you know, at my desk or whatever. Because <clears throat> I mean, there was nothing sensitive around me. Um, but as soon as people saw, there right behind me, there was this cardboard cutout of Belle from Sleeping Beauty, and everybody's like. Oh my goodness, he's on set. He is working on the Beauty and the Beast ride for Disneyland Tokyo, and this is, this is going to be a super amazing, insightful person to follow, whatever. And it's like, obviously, you know, there was nothing. There was nothing that anybody could remotely pull from what was around me. But, uh, but it still happened anyway. And so it was, it was, it was bizarre. Um, and so my, my boss pulled me into his office and said, so, uh, we saw this wonderful picture of you on your social media and, and the people in Japan are freaking out and they're asking you to take it down. <laughs> I was like, oh my goodness. <laughs> so yeah, social media is a beast. It's, it's something that's tricky on so many different levels <laughs> but whatever Oh, there it 
let's, let's do this instead. <coughs> Near and weld. One, two, three, four, five, six, one more. Okay, now we're good. I'm going to say a stitch to midpoint on this one. Boom. Boom. Uh -huh -huh. Boom. Okay, there we go. I knew it could boom, you know, just just boom. Just just boom. Just like just boom. Boom chicka boom boom. Okay. Let's see. Uncrease all. <coughs> Grab this whole thing, make sure that that's all matched. Adormir. Pues sueña con los angelitos. read up on that chamaca because that's it's a shame I, I think that I need to one I need to be more enterrado I need to be more plugged in more uh, in the know kind of like what's going on but <laughs> It's, it's just tricky. Tricky, tricky, tricky. My goodness. There we go. Local symmetry, please. Okay. Take that. Smooth that out, baby. Smooth it out. Excellent. So for this little bit right here, we're gonna say Control W. <coughs> <coughs> However, hear of another individual who got fired for posting on social media. Well, not necessarily for posting on social media. Oscar, how are you doing, my friend? Am I going to stream tomorrow? Tomorrow, no. Um, tomorrow, I have a crazy day ahead of me. Um, in fact, I need to check my calendar and see what's going on tomorrow because tomorrow's kind of a. Now it looks like tomorrow's open, except that I have projects that I need to get done tomorrow. Um, Go ahead and say bend curve. 
I'm going to say, yeah, no, the axis is great, smoothness, and I need the symmetry. And then I need, boom, 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 something like that. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, quite honestly, like the amount that I've played with this deformer, I mean, I use it a lot, but I obviously need to play with it more because that's pretty stinking cool. I was, I was trying to figure, uh, figure, uh, figure out how to make sure that uh, I was getting a good curve through this piece. And since just moving the one was kind of giving me this weird, like, double parabola, I don't know, this weird looking dip thing kind of going on there. Um, I had to go ahead and move the other points on the outside, and that, that did it for me. That was awesome. Okay, that's great. Oops. Una sola línea, por favor. Um, let's see. Move brush. Something there. <coughs> Control Shift X twice. Uh, I got a mirror and weld. I hate it when that happens. <laughs> Control Shift X, Control W. Okay, I bring that back and we're good. Okay, so that's being a lot like that's turning out much nicer for me. So that's great. You know, I'll, I'll keep it. <laughs> <coughs> Let me see. The restream chats being a turkey. It won't tell me like how many people are connected at all. <laughs> I know that there are people there because you guys are chatting. But yeah, it's like it's giving me a big fat zero and now all of my messages are gone. Oh well. <laughs> I'm up I'm, I'm up to date. I'm current, but you know, whatever. It's just kinda it's kinda nice knowing somebody is there, you know? It's just nice knowing. How many client projects can you handle consecutively? Consecutively, as many as come to me, but uh, at the same time, uh, that's a different story. Um, right now, I have two projects that are actual client projects. Um, the most I've ever had at a time, or like maybe four, um, but doing four at a time is insane. You know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't try doing more than two. I mean, that's just, that's just stupid. <laughs> definitely, 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 definitely stupid. But yeah, I mean, it's it's all up to an individual and, and, you know, what kind of time they have and how well they are, like how well they can uh, manage their time, et cetera, et cetera, right? But uh, yeah, it's kind of... La vie de l'artiste. <laughs> La vie du artiste. Well, Scoo, how you doing? Yeah, it's coming. It's coming along. Um, I decided that today I would work on.
the bike a little bit. The character, I'm not sure exactly what's going on with the character. There's some sort of weird something or other happening where it's like the color is super off unless I turn off my layers. Like you see, like I turn off my layer and it's like, but I mean, there's nothing in the layer. And then if I turn it to record, it gets even darker. So it's like, I don't know, it's, it's a big pain in the butt, but it's, <laughs> I wanted to go through and kind of work on this. Maybe it's still worth going through and, uh, and kind of, uh, painting in some details under the boots because they need some love. Like they need some love quite desperately, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I mean, I've got, I've got his expression pretty much in place. Um, <clears throat> and then I just need to go through and start posing them. Um, but you know, so far, so far he's good. But then his, uh, his vehicle's coming along too. So this is, this has been fun. Got the cargo kind of in place. Still a long, long way to go. But in the very least, I mean, it's, it's becoming something. <coughs> Let me see. Turn, uh, turn off cargo and body so that way that's not in the way. Just grab this and kind of pull it down into the bottom of the hole right there. I don't really know what else to call it. It's it's a hole, you know. that up put that up and then we'll change this to move all right get the parece all right so we're going to need <coughs> I'm going to need to decide so I've already decided I want this to kind of dive off into this, but I need to figure out how I want this to go. I think I want to have this kind of go and dive off over here, which means uh, here, let's grab this piece. unhide that and then we're going to say geometry sorry I'm like leaning back right now so if my audio is a little bit quieter it's because I'm not as close to the microphone <laughs> I don't know whatever uh, uncrease all A great time to wake up. <laughs> no, what time is it? No, I'm actually not just waking up. Uh, I'm actually I'll actually be on for another half hour or so, maybe, and then I'll be uh, jumping off and getting ready for bed. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, it's a uh, it's a uh, it's it's late here. It's it's quarter after. 11 it's 2300 hours here
crease edge. Okay. Just like good golly miss Mali. Okay, here we go. So here's what we have. And I'm trying to decide if I want this to go. <laughs> well, good to have you around, Joe. Thanks for stopping in. Uh, Got to decide if I want this to. Yeah, I do. I want. I want this to kind of dive down and and kind of die out down. Cajete. Oh yeah. qué me azotas con tanto con tanto sonido? Just after 7 a.m. in UK. Wow. Yeah, it's hard for me to keep track of like what time it is where. <clears throat> like I've got a presentation in uh, with with a school in Norway uh, tomorrow, uh, and that'll be at midnight. Um, you know, midnight LA time. <laughs> so it'll run from midnight to three o'clock, and. Um, it's like, wow, you know. Kind of smooth that out a little bit. Something like that. <laughs> <coughs> and then right here, I'm going to want to have this die down as well. In fact, maybe instead of using the move brush, let's just use the uh, slide. Just kind of have that slide down. these pieces right here I'll probably have those kind of tapered down as well but we're gonna have to see let me see I'm gonna take this ridge that to there and I definitely need to insert one two three Stitch, not to midpoint though. End point. Ooh. I am honored though, you know, those those of you who are up this late, you know, just to just to jump on and chat a little bit. <laughs> Get that one in there. We'll 
we'll say bridge these two together. And that'll make it a little bit easier to figure out what in the world we do with this. <laughs> Hopefully. So it's in the very least the uh, the basic intention. Cool dude, you're a cool dude. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like Bob Ross up here making happy little speakers. <laughs> nice though just to be able to chill be able to chillax okay we need one two three four so I need three divisions okay and then we're just gonna do this bridging business here fix everything all at once uh, insert please one two just two get rid of this and we're just gonna give it that one right there boom okay bridge edges cool dude radical tubular excellent Ooh, uh -uh. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to do, actually. Invert it. Now we can mask it. Now we can show everything. Actually, let's do this because this will be important. I just want to make sure that that whole thing is its own thing, you know? Smooth that down just a smidgen. Smidgen of a pigeon.
like it almost got this little section in here like a little bit like Elon Musk I wish my bank account looked a little bit like Elon Musk <laughs> Could be nice, all I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, my my courses and tutorials would have to sell like hotcakes if uh, if I were to ever look like Elon Musk. <laughs> <laughs> One of the worst things about staying up late is that I crave chocolate. <laughs> I get all antojado. It's not a good thing. super quiet which to me is okay <laughs> it's like when I get when I get really focused it's like my voice trails off and I'm just kind of thinking about what I'm doing and it's kind of <laughs> you know you know what I'm saying? A ver, let's go ahead and let's do something like that. sure what I'm trying to do here probably something like this but <laughs> obviously it's very uh, detrimental to smooth clean topology here anyway It's okay, it's fine, it's good. We're all right. So my my course I've sold I've sold several copies of it, which is good. Um, but I haven't been advertising it. And so I need to. <laughs> um, it's a great course. I mean, I'm really excited and, and happy with how it turned out. Um, so yeah, it's just a it's just a matter of yeah. It's just a, it's just a matter of. Um, <laughs> kind of getting the word out there, I guess.
food vet. Oops. I want to put a stitch it to the end point, please. Let's go stitch it, stitch it. Stitch it like it's hot. <laughs> Grief, it does not want to cooperate with me. It's not at the moment. The whole stitching feature, it's it's really helpful, but it can also be extremely uh, frustrating to work with. Which, you know, every software has stuff, and ZBrush has a lot of stuff, but... <laughs> um, It's one of those things. I think I want to take this loop. Oh, here, let's, let's go ahead and mask it. Make sure that's all masked. Then I want to take this. I want to make sure this is a little bit rounder. Um, <coughs> and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually offset this little five pointed star down here and this little five pointed star down here. Um, reason why is that that's going to, if I have a five pointed star right where it is, it's going to create kind of a. Uh, an artifact when it smooths out and so by offsetting it some it's going to help maintain um, everything <laughs> it's going to help maintain insert single edge loop stitch two points to the midpoint And then we can come over here and say bridge. Oh, shoot. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to say polygroup, polygroup island. Do something like that. Okay. Say crease PG. Okay, so you can see there's there is kind of what our piece is looking like so far, which is awesome. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm really excited about how it's starting to look. <laughs> and quite honestly, I know it's a few minutes early. It's about like ten minutes earlier than what I was. Uh, intending in the original timeline of things but I think I'm going to call it a night got to get my beauty sleep you know <laughs> yeah I definitely need some buttons I'm going to put in like a like a cassette spot or you know like something like that um Say geometry crease PG. In fact, let's do this. I'm going to say mask mask by features. In fact, let's do this first. Now we can invert it. And we'll go ahead and kind of pull this up just a smidgen. I'm not entirely sure that I'll leave it like this. I might go through and, and put like a 
like a, a mesh over the top of it so that it uh, so that it has that um, yeah woven woven mesh look but um, yeah, I might just leave it simple for now <laughs> Let me see, uh, 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 geometry, crease, PG. Let's go ahead and invert it, crease, PG. That gives me some interesting looks. I just need to go through, it's very obvious when I smooth it out that I'm getting some very terrible shapes in here. Uh, which is good. It's good to be able to see those sorts of things. So that's why I go like back and forth between different uh, different modes. Check it from different angles too. But yeah, this right here is kind of odd. The way that it just kind of drops in like that. this out just a smidge just a smidgen you can tell that it's definitely not super clean down here yet but we'll uh, we'll work on that little by little here So that's how we're looking so far. <clears throat> I might have to take this section up here and like arch it up over the top. In fact, that's, maybe I'll do that before I call it the quits. And just to make sure that I understand. Okay, so yeah, this, this spot right here is where we want it to bridge to. Since this is such a terrible orientation for that, I'm just gonna push that up for now. Mirror and weld. Insert single edge loop. Let I me mean, go ahead and put this out over here. it up a little bit just so that way I can kind of slide this back down let's turn off solo here this way we can go ahead and start to really place these things kind of the way that you know goes up over the arch uh, things like that <coughs> my next stream that's a good question um, this week this this week I might I might be streaming actually on the Pixelogic stream on Friday. Let me check real quick. Um, <laughs> getting the question on uh, Instagram too. When's your next stream? Um. Uh, yeah, I should I should be having a, a ZBrush live, so I'll be on the Pixelogic channel on Friday. And that's probably the next time I'll stream. Um, I'm not entirely sure what it is that I will be working on, so I might put a I might put a what's it called a poll in my either in Instagram or on my um, Patreon. We'll have to see kind of kind of what it is we get. Let's turn off 
the body, turn off solo mode. Kind of pull that up. Pull it on up. Everybody just move on up. three other loops that are supposed to go up and over see something like that What's, what's nice about the stream anyway is that uh, since I'm since I stream to um, since I stream to YouTube and Twitch and everything, uh, you can go ahead and you can kind of catch the video on demand or whatever as a what you mean to get as you know whenever whenever you want you know feel free to to, to drop in on the um, on the recordings, you know, any, any time. That way it's like I'm always there for you. Say less. Not sure I understand. <laughs> Saying I talk too much? Is that what you mean? Boost this arc a little bit here. Bridge that back. And then right in here somewhere, I'm going to need to make sure that I have um, a three pointed star to kind of get this to, to flow out the different directions. <laughs> no! What we're gonna do? I'm gonna say bridge these two together. Insert single edge loop here and here and here. Stitch to end point. Okay. Let's do this. Let's go ahead and add one in here. <coughs> we'll definitely watch again. Okay. Well, thank you. <laughs> And I will definitely stream again. Let's go over here. We'll say collapse poly loop here. 
and then we'll say insert single right there something like that actually it probably needs to be scooched to booched over just a little bit more Uh, maybe not. We'll we'll leave it there, and then we'll take this one to right here. So we'll say collapse that. Insert another edge loop here. Adjust the arcs. Say collapse this down to about right there. <coughs> All right. My beauty sleep alarm. Insert a single edge loop there. And let's close this up. Smooth it out, push it in, make sure it is golden. All right, there we go. There we go. Let me see. Oh, I haven't been checking off. I haven't been checking off dates on my calendar. <laughs> it's pretty much just sitting there. I've been. I use my. Uh, my phone calendar religiously like like I always use my phone calendar and things are always plugged into that um, but sometimes I neglect my tabletop calendar which isn't a huge deal I think I'm I think I'm ready to call this call it something <laughs> all right all righty guys yeah, I mean this is I'm not gonna get any more finished than this for right now, I don't think. So I think it's it's worthwhile to just say Au revoir And we will have to see each other in the next one. So yeah, I'll be I'll be on again just for those who maybe didn't hear it the first time. I'll be on the Pixelogic channel on Friday morning. Oh, for me, it's Friday morning. For you guys, it might be different. <laughs> it might be it might be Friday evening, or it might be Saturday morning. I don't know. I don't know where you all where you all are in the world. Um, but yeah, so I will be on Friday morning at eight o'clock in the morning Pacific Standard Time, so California time um, in the United States. And yeah, body cargo it's starting to come along. At least it looks more solid now, <coughs> and it might be just enough for what I need. What I need out of it right now. Um, but yeah, I don't know. 
I still have to go through and kind of add some pieces, add some uh, some decals. I need to add some. I want to add like a, like some handles on there so that he can open it up and do maintenance. Uh, I'm going to do some hooks to be able to to hook things on. I've got to do straps to be able to strap the cargo on. I got to make that basket. I got to make the stuff that's going in here. Whatever. Uh, build out this rifle. Different things like that. Uh, so yeah, there'll be some other things. And I feel like I was going super slow today with something that should not have been that slow. But uh, whatever. I'm tired. <laughs> And I was streaming, so you know this is kind of how it goes. It's like you can't you can't base somebody's work speed based off of what you see on the stream. Uh, some people are super fast, and some people will ignore chat for a while so they can just honker down and and uh, get some stuff done. Uh, <laughs> I like to follow what's happening in chat, but whatever. Anyway, so yeah, Friday. Uh, tune in. And I will be there. <laughs> I better save this before I lose it. But yeah, so anyway. I'll see you guys around. Oh, and just so you can see, kind of, this is where my uh, where my character's at so far. It's really exciting to me. It's, you know, I don't know what's making his... Uh, I don't know what's making him go all dark like that but he is for some reason and yeah I don't know anyway anyway it doesn't it doesn't really matter a ton I still need to actually go through and do his gloves and stuff like that but anyway whatever I'll do that a different time and <laughs> there's the geometry look But yeah, so yeah. Thanks for stopping in. 